Hi there, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and this is a free audit of the website landbeyond.com. I'm on a home page and I love the featured image and this is, this shows me that this really matches the logo as well, which looks very professional as well. Mm, I love the top navigation. I would add a little bit more SEO friendly tagline instead of live to experience. Mm, add a little bit more specific uh, tagline that will help you convert visitors into customers because at the moment it's a little bit wishy-washy it doesn't really tell what you're offering uh, it doesn't really explain that what uh, what kind of product uh, you are selling so in order to convert better you have to inform your visitors about your offer about your your products within the first three seconds this is um, the rule of the website uh, user experience to make sure that the website is clear informative and convert within the first well not convert but obviously it allows visitors to understand Mm, what this website offers with, within the first three seconds, which I feel it's a little bit lost um, uh, with the, with this image or with the uh, with this tagline, mm, because if I scroll down, I can see that you're offering uh, uh, clothing, that you're selling clothing. The titles are not SEO friendly. It doesn't tell me if it's uh, hoodie, if it's blazer, if it's uh, sweatshirt. So. Uh, in order to make it a little bit more SEO friendly um, to appear in more relevant searches I would uh, make sure that the titles are SEO friendly uh, because the designs are so... I didn't even realize it's a bug because the designs of the prints are so detailed I would okay I can see that the guys were in the t-shirt However, it feels like the focus is not on the t-shirt because the image, the the cr the most important thing that you should focus is cropped out of the frame, which doesn't make sense because it should be the focus of this photo photograph. So, um, mm, I mean, it's a great photo, obviously, but it it just needs to be cropped out better. So the focus is actually guy in the center with the print. So I can see the print and everybody else can see the print. So that's the focus of this um, of this whole exercise. Um, but yeah, the make make sure that the 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 images are bigger because I don't see the details of this design yet. Um, this slideshow looks very good. I I feel that it should be at the top. This really this really is is great i would move it to the very top uh just just underneath the description because this this really you made an effort here it shows your designs in detail it shows what you're offering and the, the tagline also is great so um, it shouldn't really be so low on the home page beyond the clothes okay so i can i can understand a little bit more um what you're offering so eco-friendly clothing connecting to people connecting people to nature and supporting content creators so this is really good yeah i'm i feel like that, that you have got already strong branding just needs to be translated a little bit better into the home page because it feels a little bit too generic at this stage and it needs a little bit more taking up to the next level to really uh, to really show your unique uh, unique selling unique selling proposition remember to open your instagram a uh, link in a new tab otherwise you will lose a valuable traffic of your website if someone clicks on it and stays in the same tab the the your website will close on the browser automatically so remember to open all external links in new tabs I will check the collection page and the product page right now. 
I would definitely improve the display of the product on a collection page because I feel with those detailed uh, detailed designs it would work much better also you don't need this um, side panel which takes a lot of valuable space because you only have like seven products so you don't really need to divide them um, you know it doesn't really serve any purpose having this panel here um, I would change the layout of this collection remove it completely and change the setting to show only three items per row this way products will take the full width of this page the images will be twice as big and it will allow your visitors to see the design clearly in each product um, which will help you convert much 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 better at the moment they feel like squashed which is unnecessary and I can't see the text I can't see the um, the design which really works against your conversion rate and um, also the product titles are already mentioned but make sure they are more SEO friendly and descriptive because True Freedom China Blue doesn't really tell Google what you're offering if you were to tell Blue um, China blue, um, true freedom, men's sweatshirt or lady sweatshirt, it will give you a chance of appearing in the Google search results when someone is searching for sweatshirts. But titles as title as it is right now, it will be very, very challenging for Google to put you in in any relevant search results, meaning that the traffic coming from Google is not coming from people looking for sweatshirts yet. They are looking for um, very, very generic terms. So, but your product page looks great. Uh, you've got plenty of, you've got uh, all of the um, elements, important elements above the fold, which is great. You've got information that is environmentally friendly, which is great, free and fast shipping, which is important as well, perfect. 100% cotton. Yeah, you've put you've put really quite a lot of work into the um, into design, which is great. Fantastic. Yeah, you've done a really good job with optimization of your products. It looks really, really good. Get your long sleeves. I will check now extra pages. It's about this page. Okay. Is it your story or is it someone else's? Is it someone else's? Okay. Right. Is it a story or a or a quote. Okay. Why is that even upside down? Okay, I mean it's it's um it's great. However it feels I feel like it's not um Okay, it's not very good from user experience point of view. The the font is is tiny, I need to say. It's difficult for to read for especially for someone with more um that is visually impaired, which can definitely knock a few points off your SEO. Um because Google wants to make sure that the um I would I would remove all those bells and whistles from this page. If you want images, you can add images, but don't put text against images and then text and then um, another layer, I mean image, another layer and a text. It just, it just doesn't, um, doesn't improve your, your user experience or your SEO. What you could do, you could have image and a text on the black panel. Um, underneath this title it will work much much better from user experience because at the moment it feels like people really don't know where to look but the images leave if you want you can leave them as spare ones um, and then put a text only on the black panels which will work much much better this way ok 
Okay, contact us page. Okay, it looks it looks okay. Okay, it's hyperlinked. No, it's not hyperlinked. The whole the whole element is linked, but doesn't link. It's not connected anywhere. Okay. Um, frequently asked questions. Into my order. Okay. Can be found here. Let's see. And then you send to uh, other returns page again. Okay, return center. I mean, the process could be could be a little bit simpler, but I understand why. Um, you could put returns policy on the previous on the previous page and then link to the return center from here. Uh, okay, it is here. Okay, but yeah, the the um the structure is there. Just need a little bit more, a bit more to be more user friendly a little bit. Your SEO score is 61 out of 100, um, which is good. It, your Google snippets are not optimized, not optimized best because live to experience doesn't really tell me that you're offering clothing. So optimize it a little bit better to convert. Also, your meta description is too long. It should be up to 165 characters. The heading structures are fine, but your content is not optimized to rank for more specific keywords. As I already mentioned, you rank for very generic keywords, um, which means your traffic is not really designed to convert yet. Keyword consistency need work. Um, Amount of content, so remember to keep adding more content, especially through blogging. Optimize your images with alt tags, that's also very, very important. Um, you've got a few broken links, which is um, which can also affect your SEO uh, and user experience as well. And I recommend connecting Google Analytics because it's important to monitor where your traffic comes from, how they behave, how people behave on your website, um, whether you need to whether you need to improve your traffic levels whether you need to improve your bounce rate and so on, it's all important for SEO. Your website loads quite um, quite slow, which is a concern because I had an impression that your website is custom built. However, it feels like it is using um, coding or design that is not performing very well because the slow loading, loading website, this number um, should be a little of a little bit around one second. This is this is the normal standard for Shopify website. So if your website loads almost in three seconds, this is this is seriously a concern. So I would focus on this as well. Um, apart from the branding conversion rate on the website and display of your products, and obviously SEO, um, because. Google will not likely to show a website that is um, a promote website that is loading so slow. So work on this because this is this is really important. I hope you found this review useful. If you did, please click like underneath this video and please leave a positive review on my Trustpilot profile. The details are in the email. And if you'd like to learn how to optimize all of those elements mentioned in a critique, how to find better converting keywords, how to improve your loading speed and how to convert, how to design the home page and the collection page to convert more visitors into buyers please click um, the free chat link in the email book your free chat and me and my team will be happy to go through all of the elements mentioned in the critique and show you how to optimize them yourself on your website um, thank you so much for your time